Glottos, PIP flexion, and the MTP hyperextension, and it is irreducible. You may find also DIP flexion. The glottal deformity is usually associated with an underlying neurologic condition such as diabetic peripheral neuropathy and charcomary tooth disease. Glottal deformity of the lesser toes can follow severe closed calcaneal fracture as a result of contracture of the intrinsic flexor muscles of the foot. Excision of the lateral and medial schizomoids may lead to clotos. A muscle imbalance where the extrinsic muscle overpowers the weaker intrinsic muscle can cause clotos. The cloto and hammer toe deformities are associated with dorsal subluxation of the interossei which can no longer serve to flex the metatarsophalangeal joint. Once the MTP extends, the tendon imbalance becomes a vicious cycle. It's important to recognize if these deformities are rigid, means fixed or flexible. Claw toe is different than mallet toe, hammer toe, killy toe, and crossover second toe. The isolated hammer toe and the mallet toe usually result from an acute injury or chronic pressure from shoes. Hammer toe rarely occurs by itself. You may have disorder of the plantar plate. The hammer toe and claw toe differ by the position of the DIP joint. The DIP is extended in hammer toe and it is flexed in claw toe. In the hammer toes, you will find flexion of the PIP and extension of the MTP joint, but it is reducible. Hammer toe can occur by itself. There might be dorsal PIP callus and you may find second toe metatarsalgia. The condition of hammer toe can be flexible or rigid. The mallet toe, the DIP flexion deformity, you can find nail pain and end bearing callus. The extensor digitorum longus will lose its tenodizing effect on the proximal interphalangeal and distal interphalangeal joints. Gelly toe is associated with contracture of the flexor tendons and usually occurs in children. Gelly toe is usually bilateral and usually it affects the third or the fourth toe. The affected toe is usually flexed and curved medially, so that toe lies underneath the neighboring medial toe. The curly toe, usually asymptomatic, it may improve by itself. The nail of the curly toe may cut the plantar surface of the overlying toe. The condition is usually caused by tight flexors of the toe. Usually the condition does not need treatment. You may need to stretch the toe, and if stretching fails, then you may need to do release of the flexor tendon. And the treatment is flexor tenotomy. Crossover second toe usually occurs due to attenuation or rupture of the plantar plate and the lateral collateral ligament and are associated with a varying degree of instability. There will be progressive migration of the digit towards the big toe, usually the second one with dislocation or subluxation of the metatarsophalangeal joint. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.